Oh damn. I was just here to upgrade my weapons. And I see everything is smoldering. Possibly because we lit the fir tree on fire. And we have her standing here. Why are you not spirit tuning, bro? Take a look around. The round table hold is burned. Raised to the ground. Don't worry. I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before. Which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table behind him. Oh damn, I did not even think of all of these things. This is so crazy. We almost got a look at her booty. Okay, let's go and talk to Master Hugh. Bro, why aren't you leaving? I knew you'd be back. Lay out your arms. Weren't you listening? As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god. To slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. Oh, uh, I was just talking to River about god slaying weapon or god slayer. I think this is it. Uh, in River will of course correct me if this is not it. But I think this is what he's talking about. Let's ask him. Yes, I'm my masterpiece to slay a god. That's all I've lived for. And my promise to quit. And my promise to quit America. But do me a favor and do. Do look after the girl. Dude, you gotta leave, man. Fuck. I can't hold on much longer. I'm going the way of the... <laughs> round table. Yeah, it was a crayon. A crayon that to smith your weapons during my time here. Allow me to call, call, call you this just once before it ends, my lord. Oh my god. For, for that is what you are. Damn. All right, let's see what others have to say. Where is Ofnir? Get in. Get in, bro. Oh, there he's here, right? still here you burned the earth tree didn't you then the round table is soon to follow ah. no need to fret about that the round table holds serve to put a tarnished upon the throne of elden lord and if the earth tree needed to burn for that to happen then the round table must go as well damn what can we talk to about i'll stay at the round table for a time i must learn all that can be taken from this place and sear it into my memory. How could I call myself the all-knowing if I did any less? The pursuit of knowledge is without end, for knowledge is never a thing complete. Thus, I maintain the mantle of all-knowing. Perhaps the same could be said of guidance. Who is to say whether we'll remain who we are once the fight is finished? What do you think? as one who aspires to become Elden Lord. What do I think? This might be just ramblings of someone who doesn't understand what's going on, but the best thing for this game would be there shouldn't be any Lords. Right? Everything you're doing is wrong. Do you have anything to say, bro? You've done it, I see. 
Yes. What use do you have for me now? I am a finger reader. I will remain here until their dialogue ends and the thinkers speak again. Do as you please. Take whatever course seems most worthy to you. Now you may go. Alright. Spoken to her, spoken to everyone. Let's see what she has to say. Now that we have spoken to Master Hugh. I see. You're here for some spirit, Chief. No, I'm here for Master Hugh. Oh, is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. A fearsome curse put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case, I'm not sure there's anything we can do. You should save yourself. Leave, bro. Leave from here. Everything is going to shit. Now that we have done all of that, I'll go get some runes, upgrade my weapons, and today we are going to finish Dung Eater quest. Because we just need one more seedbed curse to give it to the Dung Eater. And then he is done. And we get another one of the endings. Damn. It feels weird when the game is approaching the end. <laughs> we'll see you with the Dung Eater thing. Oh, Smith, as long as you like. Now, lay out your arms. Oh, we have another option here. <sighs> I've upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. And if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> what use have I for freedom now? I smith weapons to slay a god. I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? There is other way, but I also understand you. When the whole purpose of your life is something you need to do, but it destroys you, some people might even choose that. Alright. I had so many rune orbs, I did not realize I sold all of it. Not all of it, I still have some. And upgraded both my weapons, Uchigatana to 25 and... I had already upgraded Reverse of Blood to plus 10. But now, I have the best weapons. I mean, the highest level of weapons. Oh, he's dead? No, rapier, nice. I've heard his armor as well as his weapon is really good for mages. All right. Our Millicent is gone. For the fifth seedbed, this is actually fourth if you don't do the Bogart quest. But I have done the Bogart quest, so... And it is here. Alright, now that we have that, we can go back to the Dung Eater. There he is. Hello, buddy. Curse you, Golden <sighs> This is the last one. There it is. I, I only sit upon the accursed blessings to war. Oh, my God.
Oh my fucking god. And we get our mending rune. Mending rune of fell curse. And if we reload this area, I think we get this omen with the whole thing set. There it is. The omen set. The last cry of his is so painful. Damn these voice actors. Everyone in this game is phenomenal in whatever they did for this game. Alright, that is the end of Dung Eater Quest. So we have... How many endings we have with us now? We have Age of Duskborn, which we can achieve by the Mending Rune of the Death Prince. Uh, we have Blessing of the Despair, which is this. Mending Rune of the Fell Curse. We have Age of Stars, which is Rani's quest. So we have three. And we can get two more. Which is one of one of which is Gold Mask, which we get after defeating Malekith. And the other one is Frenzied Flame. And one is the usual. Where you don't go with any of these quests, I guess. That's how it is. I'm not sure. But we have three of the endings and fourth one is mandatory anyone can get it. So we only have to work for two more which is the gold mask and the frenzy flame. But if I'm not wrong, if I understand everything right, frenzy flame ending locks you out of everything else. Like if you go and get the frenzy flame ending, you cannot get any other option when you finish the game, beat the last boss. So if I decide to do that, I'll first finish all the other endings and then go to Frenzy Flame so that at least I have all the runes. And there is also another way to get rid of the Frenzy Flame ending, which is by having Mikela's Needle after defeating Melania. I think this is how all of these things work. If I'm wrong, please correct me. And so even if you do have Frenzy Flame, you can still get rid of it and achieve other endings. So I am going to get all the endings. Of course not in this episode. This was it for this episode. And we are going back to Melania. I'll give her another try. <laughs>
wait. And that is how people you defeat Melania in 14 fucking tries. I don't care what anybody says, 14 tries is phenomenal for a new player of any From Software game. I have defeated Melania. Melania, the dreadful fucking enemy in 14 tries if this video doesn't spread all over the internet then i don't know what i need to do to get it done <laughs> i'm just kidding but yes if you people want to share with someone who might want to see how a noob can beat melania in just 14 tries ah how much does she give me 480 grants what the fuck all right look at this place man i don't need to mention my heart is pounding my brain has lost brain cells my muscles are twitching my lungs cannot contain my breath <laughs> every possible physical def defect i am facing right now oh my fucking god oh my fucking god if you guys think this is something which is worth complimenting then go ahead please <laughs> let me know how i did 
14 tries is it good or not i'm just boosted up i don't care if people think that i am narcissistic or i'm i just have a bloated ego or whatever oh yeah i can get the needle right now oh my god i just completely forgot i was like okay i have finished millicent's quest now so once when i defeat melania that's when i have to come back but i already have it make a last needle oh. and just with rivers of blood nothing else Mikala bro, your blade has fallen. Do you think this she is still in there? And she'll rebirth for DLC? What does this thing signify? This whole flower? Can I get in there? No. Alright. Alright people. That is it for this episode. I would still like to be a little humble. <laughs> Maybe I got lucky somehow. And I somehow defeated her. But yes, I did it. In this episode, we finished Tongue Eater Quest. That was another beautiful quest. The voice actor for Dung Eater is also so freaking awesome, man. Anyway, I don't want to talk about anything now, frankly. I'm just... <laughs> I'm done. I'm done now. Melania is already done. I, just, I feel sad now. Like I had some mission in my head. This is the bad thing about my personality. I just couldn't rest until I learned how to defeat her. And by the time I learned how to defeat her, it's it just felt like, okay, maybe I can defeat her. And she's gone now. Enough talking. Let me know if you guys like this episode and especially the fight which is the highlight of the episode and if you do like it please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to watch these kind of epic videos and leave a comment saying how bad it was and how lucky i was okay <laughs> no i'm just kidding i know you guys are going to be good good to me because i'm just a noob at this game or any other some from software again that being said We'll see you in the next episode. Until then, stay awesome, take care, and bye bye. Say bye to Michaela and Melania too. Bye, Melania. Thank you for being such a formidable boss. You make me feel good. <laughs>